Hey everyone, my name is Daniel. Welcome to our YouTube channel, and we are back at you guys with another video. Alright, so let's get started. Here, we have a magnetic motor with regaging section. There's a variety of this type of motor. We picked this one for the video. We came up with our own version and set up. As you can see, there's an electromagnet there to get the rotor past the sticking part. We made one prototype about this motor a while ago and used it for another video. We just want to point something out before we get to the new prototype. If you remember, the stator magnets are progressively offset in respect of the center in the motor. The first magnet is close to the center. And the last magnet on the stator is furthest away from the center. The rotor has five magnets. The permanent magnets on the stator are facing south. And the permanent magnets on the rotor are facing north. They are in attractive mode in respect to each other. The rotor will be forced clockwise for about 300 degrees of the rotation from the point where the magnets are further apart to the point where they're closer together. In this prototype, we used only half an inch thick neodymium permanent magnets, and the gap between the rotor and the stator is one fourth of an inch. This motor produces torque to the shaft. The interaction between the rotor and stator pushes the rotor uphill against the force of gravity. Also, the rotor is off balance since there's five magnets on one side and no magnets on the other side. This means there's more energy required for the rotor to be able to be pushed uphill. This is the second prototype of this type of motor. We use stronger neodymium permanent magnets. They are 5 eighths of an inch wide by 5 eighths of an inch long, and each one of them can lift 35 pounds. There's 44 magnets on the stator, and there's two arms with six magnets each on the rotor so the rotor will be balanced. Also, the gap between the stator and the rotor is only one eighth of an inch. This version has a lot more torque on the shaft. However, there's two arms on the rotor. And there's two sticky points, one every 180 degrees of the rotation. We attempted to have only one arm but that put too much stress on the bearings and the shaft. The force between each arm and corresponding magnets is 420 pounds of attraction force. For both arms, it is 840 pounds total. We'll do this in slow-mo to show you where the sticky point is. There's enough momentum that carries the first four magnets of the first arm through the sticky point. It needs help at the last two permanent magnets.
we installed an electromagnet here exactly where the rotor needs the most help to get past the sticky point and continue rotation. Here we have a small trigger coil and down here we have the actual trigger. Also we have two permanent magnets here, one on each of the two arms. Those are for the timing of the motor. They will trigger the trigger coil and that will allow the electromagnet to be energized and push the rotor away. We disconnected the battery in the trigger and took the rotor off so we can show you. We used a standard roller blade wheel, bearings, and shaft. Next time, we need to use larger bearings and a thicker shaft. The interaction of the strong permanent magnets is breaking the bearings and squeaking. Now, we will do this one more time. Thanks for watching everyone and make sure to subscribe because we have some really cool videos coming your way and make sure to check out our online store at www.mindoftesla.com or the link in the description and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to hit that like button and we'll see you next time.